Welcome to Shore Sisters' brand new building. We're so excited to visit for the holidays. From the farm market to the cafe, bakery, retail shops, and greenhouse, it's a one-stop oasis right here in Wysox. This is Renee. Renee has built this place. Renee and Mike have poured their heart into this, Aww. and I am just so thankful to be here along for the ride. That's so nice. We were talking about what we wanted to make today, and Renee's like, well, what about those mushrooms we made a couple years ago for the classes? So we're making garlic stuffed mushrooms, and they are very garlicky. If you could smell them, Love they're it. really good. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna start with about a pound of mushrooms, and here you just brush off any of the dirt that's left on, and this one's pretty clean. So okay. that's nice, right? Yeah. Don't use the wet because it'll make them soggy. So just do a dry paper towel. And then you're just popping out the cap. Okay. We're gonna set this aside. If it's not very big, you can always like take a spoon and clear it out, but this is a really nice size. It is a nice size. Yeah. And then I'm just gonna finely chop the caps because I like mushrooms and I don't wanna waste them. You could always skip this part if you're in a hurry, but I like a lot of mushrooms. Yep. And then your next step is that you're gonna melt your butter. I've got two or three tablespoons of butter in a saute pan. And then I have cooked bacon. If you oh, want to start okay. with it raw, oh, you can. Nice. But this is just about two strips. Okay, that's so a nice flavor too. Yes. Mm -hmm. And if okay. you want, you could leave it out, but why right. would you? It's bacon. Right. So then you have your mushrooms, and then I have about a teaspoon and a half of garlic in here. Terrific. So you're just gonna saute those for a couple minutes. It smells really good. Yeah. You got your bacon and your garlic. And then this is what it looks like at the end. So we're just gonna put this right in here. Okay, so we've got this mixed up, and then we're gonna add, this is half a cup of our John F. Martin cream cheese spread, the garlic and herb. So they've started the base for you, and then we're gonna finish it up. I love it. Yes. And then I have, I think, a half a cup of shredded cheese. Okay. I used an Italian blend. Mm -hmm. You could use sharp. Use whatever you want. That's the great thing about cooking at home, yeah. is you can use what you want and what you have on hand. Right. So then this is just a quick stir. And so you can leave it like this. Mm -hmm. And this is what I did this morning. I'm like, um, sometimes I don't want to take the time to stuff all the mushrooms. Yeah. So we just put it in a cute little oh, like pot. a little crock, yeah. yeah. I topped it with a little shredded cheese, bacon, and then some crushed rosemary. And then you could just have a dip. Oh, so we're serving it with bagel chips. You could put it in like a bread bowl if you wanted to hollow that out and serve it with the bread. But that would be, it's just easier. It's less mm -hmm. time consuming, but you get the delicious flavor. Right. And so then you're just going to take your mushroom caps. Oh, nice. Just, the melon baller. That's yeah. nice. Oh, yeah. So easy. How easy. Yeah. And it doesn't have to be super precise or fancy. Right. And then you bake them. Bake them for 10 minutes at about 350, 400. And they come out looking like this. We put a couple sprigs of rosemary. Mm -hmm. You can sprinkle fresh parsley, chives, just something a little bit green because you want that color. Oh my gosh, that just yeah. makes it, doesn't it? That little yeah. bit of rosemary. Yeah. And I love rosemary. I could eat it on everything, you know. Tell us more about the menu here in the cafe. Okay, so we have sandwiches. We really specialize in paninis, which are a hot grilled sandwich. Our special for December is going to be a Christmas club. So that Ooh. has your ham, turkey, bacon, some gooey cheese on there, and then a spiced herb mayo that really brings out the Christmas feast flavors. Oh, I love it. So our drinks for December are going to be a peppermint mocha, so that's always a classic, or a candy cane. And then we're going with a cookie theme because who doesn't love a cookie at Christmas? Yes. So you can get our big trays of cookies already for your party. And then we have a sugar cookie latte, a snickerdoodle latte, and they're just so good. And if you'd like to order ahead, we now have an app and you can order it. Give us 20 minutes on your phone and then you can come right through our drive-thru and you don't even have to get out. So that's really nice if you have kids or it's cold. And then if you want to order anything for your holiday get-togethers, we have an extensive bakery menu. So we have homemade cookies, we have pies, we have cupcakes, we have monkey breads. They're just... They do such a great job over there. And with our new facility, we have so much more that we can make and get out to you. And if you want to order those for your holiday, just give us a call. We have an extensive catering menu that you can order from. Coming up next. Renee, I'm so thrilled that you're going to show us how to make a beautiful holiday <laughs> table. We have a simple table and I have some tips for you on how to do it economically and what to splurge on and what not to splurge on. Great. 